Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing a news roundup. Yeah, that's right, some news. Does it tickle your fancy? Today we're going to be... What else do I got to sit here? Drawing a blank now. All right, well, let's do it. This is news. Oh yeah, most of these are recent news stories. I think one isn't. I don't know. Let's do it. That's what I was going to say. Hey, what's up? Here's a story about a man whose debit card was stolen and used to buy lottery tickets. And that lottery ticket won four million pounds. Here's one of the thieves right here. Not a very good thief. Look, when you start winning a bunch of money with stolen credit cards or debit cards and shit, you don't flaunt it. Oh, here's the other thief. Wow, I wonder how these guys got caught. It's crazy. John Ross Watson and Mark Goodram went on a spending spree after winning the cash. In a bid to cover their mistakes, the career criminals made their claim public and said a friend who wanted to remain anonymous had lent them the debit card. Goodram had 22 convictions and 45 criminal offenses, while Watson had 72 convictions and 133 offenses. You're going down a bad path in life if, if you're tracking up numbers like this. You shouldn't have these kind of stats. Now the guy whose debit card got stolen, he's a little bitter about this. He actually thinks he should get some of the money that was won. He wants to do good things with it, like take his family on vacation and buy a new home for them, but honestly, it just, they told him like, it's not gonna work like that, buddy. You're not getting your money, sorry. It sucks, I've had people take my credit card before and try to spend money and it's just it's an annoying shitty situation to be in and it makes you feel a little violated and i'm sure when someone wins four million dollars you feel very violated in certain areas like in the butthole region in other news brazilian woman arrested after taking corpse to sign bank loan she knew he was dead yeah i saw this one there was a video of this going around it was going viral she was literally just like doing a weekend at Bernie's, like trying to puppeteer this corpse so that she could get free money from him. It would like fall over and she'd be like, oh, he's so silly. Ha 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 ho ho ho. It was very disturbing, honestly. It just blows my mind that she thought she was gonna get away with that. What did you think was happening? You didn't even put sunglasses on the guy. And I'm not saying, I'm not trying to back up what she did, but she's shitty at what she did. She's a shitty person and she's an even shittier criminal. When she came in, the people immediately thought something was going on. And it's not very hard to tell a living person from a dead person like there's no way she didn't know that he wasn't alive you know like she knew what she was doing crazy some people what they will do like this was a very public area i don't know how you thought you were gonna get away with this that poor poor man just Bury the body, please. Let him be at peace. Wild Goose Chase gets happy ending after birds stolen from Texas Park found. Wait, what? You really like those geese, huh? Feathers were ruffled, but all is well now. Well, of course all is well now. You, you gave him a happy ending. You jerked off them geese. This is a weird one, okay? They knew what they were doing with this headline, too. I wasn't even going to read the article, but then I did it. I just... I went, I looked it up, and I found it. And they had a lot of puns in there, okay? Like, they were aware of the foul play. Police were taking the steps to quack the case. They knew what they were doing with this title. They wanted it to sound like that bird was getting a handy. Five unbuckled kids found in backseat of car after high-speed chase. This one was a little while ago, but I had it saved on my computer, so I finally looked up the story and read it, and oh my god. This is just horrible. This car was pulled over for driving in the rain without its headlights on. That was it. That was the problem. The cop just wanted to be like, hey, you should have your headlights on. And they ended up in a high speed chase. It was because this person had multiple suspended licenses and they were also driving without a license. And I guess they thought they were playing Grand Theft Auto 6 because then ugh, it's not out yet. That's why you didn't get away. It's not out yet. You haven't been practicing with the most up to date cop running away from simulator. No, this is a horrible thing that they did. Mother in big trouble with the law after officers find five unbuckled children in the back seat of the car she was driving. Deputies say she led them on a high-speed chase down Interstate 85 in the rain over 
120 miles per hour in the rain with your children unbuckled in the back. Oh, get your priorities straight. Don't put your children at risk. Don't be driving with a suspended license with all your children. At the very least, if you're going to get in a high-speed chase, buckle your children up first. Give them like a little wink or something like, buckle up, kids. It's about to get real. Here's the two people that were in the car here. Wedged into the back seat of the Charger, deputies say they found five children ages 4, 5, 9, 11, and 12 None of them buckled. And they also found a loaded gun and drugs. Well, okay, well, it's starting to make more sense why they ran, but it's still a horrible thing. You have five kids and you're living this life. It's so bad. I hate that. I just, I always think about the children. Those poor children. No child at any of those ages should be like, yeah, I was in a high-speed chase with my parents. You know, no big deal. It's also alarming that none of the kids thought to put their seatbelt on. I mean, like, at least... One of the 12 year olds should have been like, I'm buckling up. You guys can stay unbuckled. But let's not blame the children. Let's save the children from this bullshit. All right, let's move on. In other news, I didn't do that for the other ones and I'm not gonna, I just, I'll do it sometimes, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. I don't do news anymore. I forgot that that's supposed to be how I transition to another story, okay? Get off my back. What else we got here? Polish priest jailed for throwing wild orgy where male prostitute died after overdosing on erectile dysfunction pills. Okay, first of all, I'm pretty sure this male prostitute didn't die. I'm pretty sure that's a misreport. I don't know. I'm pretty sure what happened is he OD'd but he didn't die. This one has actually been very confusing to me because I can't figure out if this male prostitute died or not. All I know is he OD'd on erectile dysfunction pills, which I don't understand how you do that. Don't you just take one and you're good for like four or five hours? How long do you need it for? Shit. How many were you taking? That's a lot. It's crazy. Your heart must have exploded. And you know what? If this was just about a Polish priest, having an orgy with some male friends, that's fine. I don't, whatever, you live your life, you do whatever you feel like in the privacy of your own bedroom, sure. But the fact is he did some sketchy shit after this male prostitute OD'd on erectile dysfunction pills. First he kicked the guy's friend out when he wanted to call an ambulance and he was like, no, that shit and he kicked him out. That's not cool. So he was like not even trying to help this poor man who's gonna pass away. You're trying to save your, you're trying to save face. That's what he was. He knows he's a priest and he knows how this is gonna look. No, it was just a birthday party for my friends. We, he's the clown. Obviously he's not in the clergy anymore. And again, I can't figure out if this guy actually passed away or not. To me, it sounds like he survived and this, Priest is doing 18 months in jail because he almost killed him. Because he did not save him when this man's life was at risk. He had too much blood in his boner. Actually, they found him, and they, it also said that they found him on a bed ODing on ED pills with his genitals mutilated. And I'm not sure what they meant by that, but that's apparently... And then the they went to the hospital. It's a very confusing story, to be honest. I read like three different versions of it. If you can give me the straight story, then leave it in a comment. That's fine. But I'm gonna end it there. Well, I'm not ending the video there. I'm gonna end that part there because I don't want to talk about this anymore. So let's move on. What's next? In other news... Okay, this one's actually hilarious. Mexican media outlet mistakenly airs video of man's testicles during eclipse coverage video. I saw this video. I obviously can't show you the video, but I'll describe it in great detail, don't worry. You know, the big eclipse that happened recently, this media outlet was showing people's videos like, hey, send them in, we'll show your video, it'll be live. Someone took one where it was like, basically like, oh, there's the sun, and then his balls just came into frame and eclipsed the sun, and that was his version of the, <laughs> they were shocked. They were like, oh shit. You didn't screen the videos? You just let people throw that shit up there? Damn, that's on you. Or whoever was supposed to be screening the videos did a bad job. They were not doing their job. That's what they were, oh. If they don't have someone to screen videos, they definitely have just hired someone, that's for sure. Someone just gained a job. That dude putting his balls on national TV, he made jobs for people. So it was a good thing. Yeah, let's end on a good note. There you go. All right, that's the news video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go check out the merch store and uh, go check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks for exclusive videos that I can't show you on this YouTube channel. Whew, I feel like out of breath. That was a lot of talking. A lot of talking I did.
All right, come up to your screen real quick. Uh...